afternoon. Glorious day here in sunny Portugal, about 30 degrees here. And uh, in today's video, we're doing more raking, I'm afraid. So a lot of raking, and also we clear Rosie's area of brambles, and she gets herself a big tent. We set that up for her as the beginning of her area. So enjoy tonight's episode, and as always, thanks for watching and following our off-grid journey at the Wildlands as we slowly begin to develop our off-grid heaven, clearing the land at the moment, making way for the building of a tiny house, which we we'll hope to start in about three or four weeks. And uh, also we're gonna put shower and toilets in. So lots of exciting stuff coming up for you. So enjoy tonight and thanks again for liking and subscribing. And if you do watch our videos and you haven't subscribed, it would mean a lot if you would subscribe to stay up to date with our journey and all our updates. So again, thanks for watching and enjoy tonight's video. Cheers. We are those weirdos, a family of seven. We've been living, working and traveling for two years in our self-converted <laughs> sprinter van. I have a chameleon. Driving to Portugal to find a bit of off-grid land to buy, then we're going to apply for residency and avoid the Schengen restrictions caused by Brexit. We'll be filming every bit of the process so you can come along with us and be part of our journey. So morning, up at seven with Martin, both raking and uh, filling up the wheelbarrow, making big piles clearing the area to the left of the van's parking. So it's not very exciting work, but it's uh, all part of the process of clearing parts of the land, getting rid of some of the trees and the undergrowth and the debris, making it a bit fireproof, fire safe, and providing a nice area as a blank canvas for when we start planting next year. So it's a bit cooler this morning, but the sun's just come up. It's about quarter past eight now. So it was windy last night and breezy this morning, but very cool. But in an hour or two, it will be back up to 25 degrees and then get slowly hotter as the day goes on. So back to me wheelbarrow. Donna's van, swing you around. So we come down here with walking cam. And we've got a terrace here, which is going to be a veg garden. And then you go left down this little path that we've not finished yet. And then down here on the right. It's going to be Rose's area next to that big cork oak. So we've been raking it this morning and this is done a couple of other mornings. We've got a few tree roots to take out and a couple of trees because Rosie's got a really big tent, which is actually a four birth tent. And it's got two big rooms so she can have like an art area. She's got a blow up mattress so she can chill out. And now she's nearly a teenager. She can come down to her area 
get some of her own space when she's got mates around they can come out and hang out down here and get her a trampoline and a tree swing up on the big cork oak that's near Missy so um, let's get some chainsaw work and get these roots out there we go that'll do for that one thank you very much we'll just bury that last bit lovely earth yes oh. and then you want these other little roots out yeah it doesn't look like much but if you want to put your tent on you don't want all these little bits sticking up into, into the bottom of it so this area up all over here was completely brambled and cleared all of that so that she can have some space to have maybe table and chairs down here and hang out and then all of this you can't see it very well it doesn't look like much on the camera but this is all bare earth now for the tent we're just being blocked up by these pesky roots Hey, good job. Is this a bramble or a, a dead oak? Yeah, it's, it's an oak's roots, but there was no tree attached. So I think it must have been cut when they last cleared. Yeah. Oh, oh fucker. Sorry? Sorry. Beep. There we go. Oh, nice centipede. Oh, he's one of them poisonous ones. But any beautiful. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Sorry we disturbed your home. Hope you find somewhere nice. So that's the length of Rosie's tent going along here. You can see the rough outline on the ground that we're clearing. We just need to level it out a bit more. And then it's underneath this fabulous cork oak. I think on one of these branches here, we're gonna get her a, a hammock chair. And then we've still got a clear a bit of path down here because that's the way in down here. Someone to rescue. I've been rescuing millipedes of morning So that's the area clear for the tent. Missy's doing a funny little walk. Uh -huh. This is how you down. know if the ground's actually level or if it's got big dips. <laughs> so from where you are to where I am, that's the length of the tent. What are you doing, guys? We're just measuring out to make sure we've cleared enough of a flat area for the tent to sit on. How's it looking? Yeah, it's good. Should be from where Rosie is to where my foot is. And then the width is almost the exact same width as the clearing. Looking so good. I think, I think next we just got to get the tent out and uh, see what happens. Lay out and see what happens. What do you think of your tent, Rose? It looks really cool. Bit yeah, old. that's it. It's set up. That's all the steps done. Oh! Woohoo! Rosie has a tent! I have! And Ready now for, the, for the grand reveal. Dun dun dun! Drum roll, please! Okay, 
Yeah. Dun, da, da, da. There's another door. Oh, you're supposed to hold it up, Rose. Sorry, I thought it was. <laughs> so that Dado can come in. There we go. It's I want to see it. Cool. Oh, that area is like in its own little thing. That's yeah, it. that's so that you keep wet out and you can stay dry. Oh, it's a sleeping yeah. pod. Oh, wow, it's pitch black in here. This is massive! So the ground sheet needs stretching out. But that's pretty cool. So tent up, woohoo! So this is going to be where Rosie can chill, do some art, have her mates over, we'll get some furniture in there. She's got a double blow up bed. Get it's lots a of... four person tent. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to get four people sleeping in at the back. I think yeah, you lots get more of than four people. Rugs and comfy cushions, Rose, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, comfy cushions and sleep the air bed that I got. So you can have a chill space there, and maybe craft and books and. and look at yeah. Even in the sleeping bit, up here, it's not even like, it's not even touching the head. And there's a lot of little hooks all around the tent that are for torches if you wanted to. And the amount of ventilation this has is lovely. So you approve? I do. I very approve. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's exciting. So there we have it. Rose's tent is up. She's really, really pleased with it. So that's going to be her area. She'll be planting some uh, veggies around there, having a little art place, trampoline, as I mentioned before. So there's still a load more clearing to do, particularly on this side of the tent, under this wall down there. That needs clearing out. And then down there, that needs a bit more clearing. There's quite a lot of brambles here. But yeah, happy rosy. And then where I'm stood, this is going to be a veggie garden. And there's already a swale that was already put in by previous farmer. It's all the water that comes down here will then run down here and not flood the veggie garden. It's pretty cool. And at the moment, we've got Cozy Adventures with us still, parked up there next to us on the new drive.